At 6.23 p.m. on June 2, the Chang'e 6 Lander and Ascender Complex successfully landed in the South Pole, Aitken Basin pre-selected landing area on the far side of the moon, with the support of Kuikyao-2 relay satellite. At 6.9 p.m. on the same day, the assembly began to implement a power drop, and the 7500 Nevada thrust main engine started. During this period, the assembly underwent rapid attitude adjustment and gradually approached the lunar surface. After that, automatic obstacle detection was carried out through the Visual Autonomous Obstacle Avoidance System. The visible light camera was used to select roughly safe points according to the light and darkness of the lunar surface, hover 100 meters above the safe point, and take accurate photos using laser 3D scanning to detect lunar surface obstacles. The landing site was finally selected, and the engine began to slow down and descend vertically when it was about to reach the lunar surface. The buffer system is used to ensure that the assembly reaches the lunar surface in freefall and finally lands smoothly. The reporter learned from the 5th Academy of China Aerospace Science and Technology Group that Chang'e 6 landing on the moon is the fifth extraterrestrial soft landing, the fourth soft landing on the lunar surface, and the second soft landing on the back of the moon. A number of hardcore technologies of the hospital supported the successful implementation of the moon landing mission. The goal of Chang'e 6 mission is to realize the first automatic sampling return on the far side of the moon, and the selection of its landing area is directly related to the risk control of the project implementation and the scientific output of the sample. Compared with the front side of the moon, the terrain on the far side of the moon is more rugged, especially the South Pole Aitken Basin region on the far side of the moon has a lower overall terrain and more impact craters, so the illumination and measurement and control are more susceptible to the impact of terrain occlusion. These factors have brought challenges to Chang'e 6 lunar landing site selection. In order to enable Chang'e 6 to land on the lunar back stably, the development team of the five institutes thoroughly discussed and analyzed the difficulties and characteristics of the sighting of the lunar back sampling mission, fully drew on the sighting experience of previous models of integrated deep space exploration, and established a set of sighting methods suitable for the lunar back landing. Using the remote sensing data of previous models, the development team conducted in-depth analysis and confirmation of the complex terrain and geomorphology of the landing area and sought areas on the lunar surface that could meet the needs of safe landing, lunar surface work, and lunar surface takeoff. After confirming the landing area, the development team conducted multiple rounds of review and research on the landform, geological conditions, and other aspects of the landing area to further reduce landing risks, ensure complete analysis of the site selection area, comprehensive consideration of site selection constraints, and reliable and usable site selection results. The Chang'e 6 lunar landing mission fully draws on the successful experience of China's many times of soft landing on extraterrestrial bodies and once again shows China's unique course essence relay obstacle avoidance technology. The GNC, guidance, navigation and control systems used by the Chang'e family were all developed by 502 Institute of the Five Institutes. During the descent process, the GNC system of Chang'e 6 needs to independently select a landing point that meets both landing requirements and the takeoff conditions of the ascending vehicle on the moon so as to create good conditions for subsequent Earth retrieval and takeoff. Thank you for watching. Please click like, subscribe, share and comment.